Hi, I'm Bob Johnson from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. If you're looking for a tough book, rugged laptop community for tips, tricks, and more information, don't forget to watch our videos. And when you do, hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and that bell button so we can notify you on any newer upcoming videos. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Rugged Rundown episode this week. Uh, this week, in our series of DuraBook, uh, DuraBook has found it uh, important that we review the S14i, which is their semi-rugged laptop. And this laptop would be comparable to, or would be in the same line as, say, the CF53 from Panasonic, or the CF4 from Panasonic. Uh, it's built to the same standards, and that's my number 10 most favorite part of this laptop is the military standard of 810 that was built on and it's certified IP53. And if you recall, I've talked about this before, the IP ratings, I have a blog article about that and I'll put that link down in the description. It describes how water resistant and dust resistant it is. Uh, number nine is the webcam. The webcam here in the screen has a little door. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but the door slides back so that you can have privacy, or when you're ready to have a video, you just open the door. So no longer do you gotta put that Band-Aid over it or that piece of electrical tape. Uh, this will keep you from uh, you know, worrying about your privacy. Uh, that's a one that, I haven't seen that feature on a ruggedized laptop on any of the competition. Number eight is the stylus. So what I like about how they've got this stylus, and I know this is a nitpicking thing, but let's face it, you know, Panasonic puts it in the, uh, in the handle on their CF31. Uh, basically, it's where it's located. See right here, there's a nice slot they've made available right on the side that can hold the stylus. I know that it's a small item, but I gotta tell you, it's really convenient and you don't have to worry about where your stylus goes. Number seven, the touchscreen on this S14i is finger, glove, and wet hand capable. So your hands can be wet. Have you ever tried to do any kind of touchscreen with wet hands? Well, this screen can do it. If you have gloves on, this screen, you can use your gloved hand to touch and get where you need to go on this particular laptop. That's a nice feature. Sometimes you have to pay extra on, of, on the competitor's mo comparable models. Number six, it does upgrades like the Express Card. The Media Bay would hold a CD-ROM, DVD, burner. Uh, it can also hold an extra battery. So there are some upgrades that you can do to this unit like any other, uh, any, of, any of the normal upgrades you would expect. Number five, and, and this is a design item. Uh, in the past, the competitors' uh, what, uh, laptops has been issues. I can give you some examples like the Dell Latitude 5412 or 5404. Uh, is the hinge. You're in a car, you're stopping and going, this screen is flopping back and forth. Well, guess what? This hinge is designed not to fail. So I'm very happy with the hinges on this thing. It's very stiff, it doesn't flop, and it will hold its position no matter where you put it. That's what I like about this particular laptop. Number four is battery life of 10 hours, which isn't bad. It's not the best, but it isn't bad. Another nice thing is it's hot swappable. So you can pull that battery out and you have enough power in this thing to last so you can put a new battery in and you don't have to turn the unit off. That's a nice feature, not really something you see in the competitors. Uh, the screen, the screen itself is number three and it's a 14 inch screen, which all the competitors have that. It's got a thousand nit sunlight readable touch screen. Uh, I think the, the bonus on this touch screen and this screen itself is the fact that you use gloves, wet hands, or just your finger, or even a stylus to, to get where you need to go. 
One note on the thousand nits. If you don't know what a nit is, you need to read my blog article about how, to, how what kind of units they use to measure daylight readability. And as everyone knows, if you've watched this program for any length of time, I'm kind of a keyboard nut. I like keyboards. And if we take a look at this keyboard, I really like the quality and feel of the keys pushing down. It is a backlit keyboard. Uh, it's got nice protection in between the keys to keep that dirt, dust, and grime out of there. You know how that, that builds up on some of those laptop keyboards. But basically, it's a nice keyboard with a great feel on the keys. They're very bounced. They bounce really well. But I guess what would be the number one feature on this laptop? And, well, I don't know. You know, laptops are laptops, but I kind of like, and believe it or not, the programmable keys that they include on their model, on the Durabook laptops. I mean, you can program this P1 key to do just about anything you want it to do, open up programs that you use all the time, uh, open up maybe a utility that you need to use, that sort of thing. And they give you two of those. So that's kind of like my number one nice feature of this of this model but hey guys if you own this model and you have some opinions or if you can tell me some more information that stuff you like about it please leave leave the information in the comments but until next week i'll see you guys